a lot of comments we get is like, oh, it's like the superpower kind of thing. You know, people feel like Magneto. Essentially, it's very similar to uh, these these kind of pin toys that you might know from like, you know, museum novelty stores. In our case, uh, the main difference is that we can control each one of these pins. And so that thing is just connected to a computer and, and we're able to control um, how it moves. This is a this is a Kinect by Microsoft, and uh, it's usually used for for gaming. It gives you a nice uh, image of a scene, like a 3D image, a depth image. I move my hands over here, that's captured with the camera, and sent over to the table, and it appears over there. We not only have the output of the shape on the table, but we also have a projector mounted on the ceiling that that projects back. So, you know, when you move your hands, not only do you have the shape of the hands, but you actually also see, like, um, the color, like, the texture of the hands. It's not real 3D, because we can only uh, push up and down each one of these pins. So we can't push them sideways or have any other control over them at the moment. So that means we usually call this effect 2.5D. We can do three things with a, with a table like this. We can have a 3D model, and we have that physically. And that content can also be another person, so we can use it for telepresence. But the third uh, thing that to us is really important in the future, where we hope to get, is really something like, say, uh, a, a phone that you could have in your pocket. And so, as you interact with things on the phone, you can actually touch the